take a slow homestead. I'm Carol and when I was thinking about my previous video I realized that I need to clarify a few things. I need to tie up some loose ends and I also want to show you where the hens and chicks are now. So let's go. So here's the nursery and they're not in here anymore. I'll show you where I moved them to. But first of all, I want to clarify that even though this heat lamp was hanging here, the whole time that the hens and chicks were in here, I didn't use it for them. The chicks did not need a heat lamp because they had their moms. And if you've ever put your hand under a hen who was sitting on a nest, trying to lay an egg or trying to be broody or whatever. Let me tell you that it is 99 to 100 degrees under a hen. No wonder the chicks love to be under their mama because it is just the right temperature. They feel warm and they feel secure under the wings of a hen. We're gonna go down the little hallway here to coop number two. And there's the chicks, some of them. One, two, three, four, five. I see five of them. One of them still must be under that mama hen. And the other mama hen, she's up there on the roost. So now they have a bigger place. Give you a little tour. There's their water. They have plenty of wood shavings in here. There's a feeder full of food. There's a little chick feeder over there. Are you little chicks? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all there. Everybody's well. When the hens decide to lay eggs again, there's plenty of nests right here. And uh, I don't know how long they wait after they've had chicks before they start laying eggs again, but we'll see. Anyway, there they are. I moved them in here with a fishing net and it was not fun. I didn't like it, they didn't like it, but they're here and they're all safe and well. Nobody got hurt from my inability to move them in a better way. So there they are, getting bigger. The chicks are three weeks old. Three, three and a half. Three and a half weeks old. Another thing that I wanted to clarify is remember when I showed you the trash cans that I have been putting my chicken feed in? The reason why I'm storing my chicken feed in these trash cans now is because the mice can't get the feed. Before I was just piling up the bags of chicken feed in a big stack right about here by the time I got down to the lower bags, there was evidence that the mice had been eating through the bags, eating the chicken feed, and making a big mess. So, the reason I did this with the trash cans was to keep the mice out of my chicken feed. Hey, Mr. Rooster. You guys see this rooster? You probably noticed him in the last video that he was walking with a limp. And he does have a bad foot. This is my son's rooster. Okay, see him, the poor guy? He gets around, but he's lame. This uh, breed of rooster is called a cuckoo morans. I've heard morans pronounced differently but this is the way that 
we learned it. No, not Cuckoo Morans, Copper. These are Copper Morans. There's three kinds or colors of Copper Morans. There's black, there's blue, and there's flash. And so I'm pretty sure he's a black Copper Moran. My son would like this rooster to mate with my hands that are red stars and uh, see what kind of chicks we can get from that combination. So I just want you to know that yes, I'm aware that he's lame. But I hope that he can still breed with these hands. We'll see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day. So that's all I wanted to tell you today. I just felt like I needed to tie up some loose ends and clarify some things that I didn't think were too clear in the last video. The fact that I didn't use the heat lamp because little chicks that have mamas do not need a heat lamp and why I decided to put all of my chicken feed in the trash cans instead of just stacking the bags up. I felt like I needed to clarify that. And then also about the poor rooster who has a bad foot uh, because it was pretty obvious in the last video that he was limping. And so I just wanted to clarify that and show you where the hens and chicks now reside in coop number two. So have you ever looked back on something and thought, Oh man, I, I need to go back and explain that. Well, you just can't rest until you make it right. So that's why I decided to take you along with me today and explain some of these things. Hopefully, I won't have to do a lot of explaining in future videos, but you know, live and learn. And if you're like me, you learn slow. But even when you do take it slow, you can accomplish a lot. Thanks for watching.